Is this thing on? Hello everybody, welcome along to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved with Techno Jock. Ooh, look at this lovely AE system. And we've got lots of things for it to do as well. I am busy cooking up some more resonant machine frames over here. I want to do some stuff with my AE system and I need logic processors, calculation processors, all that kind of jazz. So I need some sort of automatic system to make them, don't I? So I need these inscriber things, but I need more resonant frames. Now, I do actually have sufficient stuff up here to make all the frames that I require. This last one is ooh, nearly halfway done. And I've got two more in here, and that will give me the three more that I need for down here, because I will be doing the silicon press, the logic press, the calculation press, the engineering press, and then I will have another inscriber to put them all together. And I've got a cool idea for having these set up that will only take up two channels on our uh, shiny new ME controller. Obviously, these things being so expensive to create, I don't want to have to make another one anytime soon. So, we want to have... Uh, it is using channels as efficiently as possible. And two channels for an entire uh, Scriber setup is extremely good. However, in making these inscribers, we have run into a little bit of an issue We've only got two emeralds left. Look at these things as well. Yeah. If I put them... I think actually what's happened is... Um, yeah, the emeralds are actually in that compacting drawer over there, so it's showing both things. So that's what's happening there. So we need some way of getting hold of emeralds. Um, and the way of doing that is villager farm. Um, I could do something with those bees, but really I haven't touched them since the last time I spoke to you about them. And um, yeah, they're just not exciting me at all. And villager farm could be quite cool. Now, I have a villager in a safari net. I did have one in a soul vial, but I've discovered that you cannot make a powered spawner with um, villagers which is interesting. They've obviously turned that off in expert mode. So what we do need is we need a spawner. Um, no. Um, yes, you'll have noticed that I have um, changed my uh, GUI scale so I can fit the terminal in and still have the bit at the bottom for the NEI and I've done it so that the search for the in the terminal searches the terminal but the NEI searches NEI and that way I can have a look for things in here and still have a look for things in here and yeah it works out a little bit better for me. Hmm. I really thought about doing a slightly smaller one. What does that do? That just gets rid of one layer. Maybe that will work. I'll have a play around with that. But so, yeah, that's working for me. I don't know how well it comes out on screen. Um, I, if you guys can't really see what's going on particularly well, then perhaps I will change it back. Who knows? Right. Spawner. Wanting one of these auto spawners. And if I do that, we have the stuff for it. So that's our last two emeralds going towards our auto spawner. Now, of course, this thing needs power but it also needs mob essence, and I don't have any mob essence. But what I do have is an almost limitless supply of liquid XP. Look at this. I mean, we've got 2,000 levels in there. I mean, that's just ludicrous how much is in there. So if we get ourselves a sewer, we can turn this... Hello. We can turn this XP. Oh, we need more plastic. I used the last of the plastic. Um, and I need a bucket. We can turn the liquid XP into essence. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll get ourselves some of this. Put that back in there. Get ourselves four sewers because that's how many you get, but we'll only need the one just now. 
and um, yeah, I think oh, don't we need an XP shower? I have three of them for some obscure reason. Okay, so if I put this here, and if I pick this up, and I put it there. And uh, no, I need to take off my ring of experience. Put that there. That. Whoa, it's already filled up. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. And put that back on. Right, there we go. So, uh, what I would quite like to do is have the drum. Aha, the drum will fill up automatically from being next to that. Superb, right. Weird. Did I break that XP shower just by hitting it with my hand? I think I did. It's a good job I've got extra ones then, eh? So, XP shower, please. Thank you. Okay, must remember and break that with a pick. That's an excitable penguin. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Wow. Let's pop that there and let's see. So that's going to go up. No, 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 I need to take that off again. Oh. Honestly. Right, there we go. So that's going to go up nice and quick. Perfect. That's, well, that's draining out quick. That doesn't go up very quick in comparison, does it? The exchange rate of liquid XP to mob essence is clearly quite low. But that's still 56 buckets and still climbing. And I don't know how quickly this thing sucks in the stuff. I mean, that looks like quite a bit of stuff sitting on top of it. So I don't know. And it's still going up. Yes, it's obviously just taking a while. Wow! What? What are you on? Honestly! Somebody's been giving you plenty of E numbers, haven't they? Yeah? You quite happy there? Cool. Wow, weird. Anyway, so, I'm going to leave that to climb up a little bit. We're going to get our powered spawner. I think we'll put it down in this bitty down here that we have this spawner. We can get that easily set up. Um, yeah. I think I'll just put some fluid conduits below there as well. We'll feed in. We'll just swap that one completely out. Let's do that just now. That should be relatively simple to go like that off thank you and then this one this one can go there powered perfect yep and let's get out and i'll get some fluid conduit If I just got one fluid conduit, I'd quite like to have some more. Um, okay. And we'll go fluid conduit. Pressurized fluid conduit. Okay, so we don't have any of these temperate fluid ducts. So we will do that. And we need copper plates. This, you'll see, is the benefit of being able to have both search boxes populated. So copper ingots go in there and very quickly we will get copper plates coming out. That'll do. Um, I have put in quite a few overclockers into some of these things since um, you last saw this. Uh, because overclockers are quite easy to make now that we've got the AE system, because you can just pile everything in and then also craft everything. So it makes life an awful lot easier. Um, and we need these hardened servos. So, hello, hardened servos. Thank you. Uh, that should give me enough for two lots of this stuff, which should be plenty. There we go. So. Um, how's that doing? It's still absorbing. Oh, and it's full. Right, okay. In which case, I will take that. I will take... Oh! Okay. 
Right. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. And that's still full. And we'll going to pop that down there. Anyway, yeah, we'll come back to it later on. We've got a full drum. We're going to need it. That's cool. Um, yeah. So let's go in here and go like that. Yeah. And let's go like that. Let's go like that. Yeah. Get in there. I think that should be okay. Now, let's go. Spawn exact copy. No, I don't care about exact copy. That's going. Of course, that is the other way around now. So that will make it paused. Yes, idle. Safari Net Reusable, excellent. On there, we can close that up now. And I want to go under here and put this on. Um, and I want to put it on. Put it on the back there. There we go. Excellent. Now I think that's going in. Yes, it is. I think if we turn that on now, we should see some action. Now, obviously, this is just going to be spawning them, and I can kill them or whatever. That's fine, but it's not really getting us any emeralds, and I could trade with them. Not with him. And certainly not with him. <laughs> really? <sighs> going to be kidding. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back over to the last millennium and pick up my sword with with Reaper on it. Because... Oh, I think I see some skelly bobs out and about. I don't know, it's just glitched out. Ooh, it looks busy in there. I might do something about that briefly. Uh, let's get the scythe out. This was one. Yeah, it looks far too busy in there for good. Anybody's good. There we go. Let's clean things up. What's that doing in there? How are we doing over here anyway? Another four of those mob souls. Excellent. Let's grab them. And a root treasure. Yeah. And I'll take some sugar as well. And I think I'll take some heads if there goes any. Four heads, 14 heads. Ooh, 115 heads, right. Let's get rid of those ones. Take a stack of them. And that way I can make some more of that nutrient distillation. Um, and I can quite easily get home from here like that. Excellent. And this thing is uh, charging quite happily off my wireless. It's just, it was slow to do it before. Um, right, what was I doing? I'm putting those souls away. I'm going to go over here and put another lot of that and that in there, and we need water as well. Give me that. And give me that. Put that there. Put that there. That's going to fill up. Excellent. Right. We, I think, are good to go. So I think it's time for me to whack the ankles of these guys until I get a mob soul, really. Um, don't you? Well, that literally just took me about 30 seconds. So that's pretty good. So let's just get rid of all these extra ones that have come out.
So I'm very pleased with that. So you don't get an awful lot of mob drops. I think I've got some gold coins there. And i got that mob soul. That works. I can cope with that. So what we want to do is... I don't know if I want to do it here. Maybe I should do it over here. Maybe I should build out this platform and make my emerald farm over there underneath the actual farm. Does that seem like a good idea? It kind of does, actually. Okay, let's do that. I filled things out a bit nicely here. We've got this little smell. That's a reasonable size semi that I have made here. And um, so we've got. Uh, I don't have any lava on me, but we've got our smeltery set up here. It's a fully functional one. I'm going to put an emerald in there just now, and we'll see why in a little bit. But let's get this set up now that we can go like this. And we'll go... I think we'll just go out like this at the moment to that level. And then we'll go out to the wall there like that and then I can come in like this here and we'll go like that and we'll fill this out nicely um, I want to kind of keep it nice and symmetrical-ish well not symmetrical but with a pattern to it if you know what I mean and I think you do I think you do. So if we come out like this to that wall, then we'll go like that, and then we'll come out like like that there. Like that. Am I going to have enough? Need one more. No, I'm not going to have enough. It's going to be close, but not quite. Yeah. Fortunately, I foresaw this eventuality. Hello, creeper in there. You can just stay in there. I did set up another carpenter a second ago and made some of these. So we can come over here. We can go like this. Now, this will actually make an awful lot of stuff. Um, and we can go... Like this, I think, yep. Yep, just make another stack of these, because we will use them for other things, I am sure. I do like these con these conveyor belts. Um, they're quite cool in that you can shift whilst standing on them, and uh, you don't move. Um, and also... Let's just go around here. Um, they're spawnable, which is nice. Um, the other conveyor belts aren't spawnable, which has always been a little bit of a disappointment to me. But, uh, yeah. Right, so that's cool. A little bit low headroom in here, but that will work quite nicely. Now, I want to go up and onto this level. Got to find my way, see my way clear to getting um, a way of getting onto this level that's not flying. But, um, make myself a little doorway here. They won't be able to get through here. That's perfectly okay. Excellent. Everything in here is looking pretty sweet. Now, the only thing is, yeah. That's what I was a bit concerned about. However, do I have... I've got painted glowstone on me. Like that. Or like that. Yeah, if I put one... Maybe... Like that. Is that no, it's not going to do into the corner. If I go over into the corner, maybe, and one there, one there, there. This is taking up spawnable space, technically, but 
I think it is worth it in the long run because we definitely, definitely, definitely don't want blood and stuff getting into this. Um, and if we've got spawnable area in here, then we will get because critters will spawn in here. Yep. Perfect. That, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, now we just need to set up the actual spawner itself. Um, and that means we need to sort out one of these stabilized spawners, yeah? So we'll take that. Stabilized mob spawner. Maybe we should read our little bookie about draconic evolution before we go much further. Let's have a look at this. We want draconic cores. Perhaps it's going to be in there if it's not under mobsol. Yeah, okay. No, it's not under there. Okay, it must be under the draconic core. Nope. Huh, I thought it was going to be under that. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Stabilize mob spawner. Use any mob spawner on the spawn mob soul on the spawner to change its type to that mob. Okay, so we can then upgrade it. I don't know if it's necessary. I do want to put that on it so we don't need to be within the uh... yeah might get another star as well okay uh, we don't have another star we can get one um, and we've got I think I put that mob soul in here yeah so I think it, for all intents and purposes, work like a normal spawner, except those differences. So let's see. We're wanting it down three from the roof, pretty much as central to that as we can manage. Okay, so it's going to go there to. And three there, yeah. But we need we need to leave those there because we don't want things spawning on the top. Is that okay? I could maybe have afforded to put it one lower. Then I would have still had us. No, I think that's fine. Right. Um, I'm going to stand on that. If I can stand on that, right. Let's put our mob soul in it. There we go. Excellent. Working. Now, I was also wanting... I'll put a window here, I think. That's pretty cool. Like that. Right. Um, I was also wanting to know if a redstone signal made any difference. So let's get ourselves a lever. And let's get back down here, then back up here. And put a lever on this thing. It does. Oh, that's good. I like that. Right, I'll run that switch out, so I'll replace that with conduit and I'll run a switch outside at some point. But, that's fine, we'll turn it off for the moment and I need to get a bucket of lava, please. One bucket of lava, please. I have a bucket on me. This will greatly increase the amount of emeralds we have in short order. Now the reason I wanted 
a an emerald to go in there in the first place is because you need to have something in here. Um, they're just going to sit there in the smeltery. You need to have a molten thing in the bottom, and once there's molten stuff, funnily enough, they start taking damage from that. Um, that's when you start getting emeralds from them. So we'll put that on there at the moment. This is going to melt down. Now that's going to be... 8, 9, 5, 8, 8, I'm going to see how much it is once it's... Um, once it's melted completely, because I don't know if it actually needs fuel thereafter. I think that we might get away with just having that one bucket in there forevermore. Um, and we will automate this later on. In the future, what we will have is uh, Steve's factory manager does a cool thing where you can use move liquids about from the smeltery. So, and we can check to see how much emeralds in there. So we can take out all but a little bit of emerald, um, and it'll leave enough that they get damaged, and it'll start filling up the blocks of emerald for us, and that'll be great. So we're at 715 just now. I think it's going to go to about 700. Yeah, 700, and then it's going to melt in just a second. 685, 685. There we go. And it's staying at 685. And we're already up to two emeralds in there, so we've doubled our emeralds. Two and a half. Still staying at 685. Superb. Right, they're all dead in there now, because it does kill them off pretty quickly. Standing around in molten emerald. We'll do that. It will do that. Let's see how quickly this goes. It's pretty slow. I'm going to up that speed a lot. Um, I'm just having a look at the time though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up with the redstone conduit and stuff. I'm going to put a nether star onto it. I'm going to upgrade this bad boy all the way, I think. Um, and I'm going to get this sorted out. So we are cool for emeralds. But I'm going to be doing that off camera for the moment, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've learned something from this little build here. If you have, please do leave a like. If you think somebody else might learn from it, leave a like so they can find it too. And don't forget, of course, subscribe and, of course, check out the other Season Gamers. Uh, yep, yeah, you can find their links in my featured channels. Don't run away into the corner there. I'm watching you. Yep, yep. There you go. Yeah, check out the links in the featured channels over to the right-hand side of my channel there. You'll find links to the, all the other guys. And uh, I shall see you the next time. Bye-bye.